Do you often feel like you're in an unstable love pattern? Well, first of all, what is that? We're going to talk about it. And then what it feels like. And I'm going to give you a tip or two that can help you manage it and do it differently. So stick with me. Let's get into it. And like, share, and subscribe, and comment. And let's get into it. Here we go. Okay. So an unstable love pattern. So what can happen is, for example, maybe you're at a bar or you're at a party and you meet somebody and this person seems really interesting and you're really listening. But as you're listening, we have this thing called family in the head, right? That's our, and it's composed of our BPD, our negative sense of self, our negative core content. Those are the things that are inside of us that drive a lot of these maladaptive beliefs, behaviors, and patterns. And what happens is, so we meet this person, we find them interesting. Then that volume gets turned up by our family in the head. And we start saying, oh man, this, this person must be bored with us. This person doesn't want to talk to us. This person doesn't care about us. This person's not interested in who we are or what we're about or even our ideas. I'm probably pretty boring. What if I smell? What if there's something about me that smells? What about this? What about that? And you're not listening and you get detached and the other person doesn't really notice that, but we feel it. And because now we're in this like tornado of fear and it's just encompasses us and scoops up all of our fears and we're twisting and turning and wrapping around and wrapping around this tornado. And it's like, oh my God. And that becomes this unstable love pattern. And what happens is, is that you're trying to connect to people. You're trying to be open, honest, but you're contending perhaps with some abandonment fears, rejection sensitivity, emptiness, insecurity, whatever may compose that insecurity, inadequacy, whatever it may be. And all of these things start to push this sense of fear and uncertainty. But because you have the, this core content, you want to connect to someone. And in connecting to someone, you believe that that connection will then resolve that unstable love pattern, that it'll resolve the core content of abandonment, that it will resolve the unstable self-image and the rejection sensitivity and all of those other factors. And the problem with that is, and the root of that unstable love pattern is that it is an external validation expectancy because what you want is you want something outside yourself to manage it and you know in therapy i hear this a lot from many of the psychologists psychiatrists mental health providers that i work with through seminars and supervision things like that that they're like well you know they have this problem they just don't see it they just won't do it because what happens is is that you're trying to reframe it you're trying to to reframe how they see life because they have this external validation and what we need in order to resolve a lot of that negative core content and that unstable love pattern is to have an internal sense of validation. Now, if you're someone who's dealing with BPD and a lot of your maladaptive beliefs, behaviors, and patterns puts you on that spectrum, so you may have traits, you may have the full disorder, but what happens is, is that a big component of that is that the expectation for resolution of your emotional needs is external you have an intensive drive for external validation. And what I do with, with my clients, this is why we work together for so long, is that we build this sense of internal validation, this internal sense of self about what is appropriate, about what is helpful, about what can move you forward. And in doing that, it's building this sense of self, building this sense of understanding. And when you get that emotional tornado, right, where you're spinning and you're spinning and you're spinning and you can't see what's going on because you're so dizzy and it's like, ah, you know, and all that. And what we do is we put some roots down and we do that by empowering you to have control, by removing that external validation or lessening the need for external validation and building an internal sense of validation. Well, how do you do that? You do that first by learning about yourself. What do you need? Now recognize that when you're in that situation, you meet that interesting person and you're like, hey, what's up? This person's really cool. And then that family in the head, what I want you to do is, I want you to imagine this little chorus, right? It's a little group, you know, maybe it looks like an actual chorus, you know, like the little singers, oh, you know, that kind of thing. And so they're actually, but they're in your brain. So it's a singing chorus that, that's in your brain. And then what I want you to do is I want you to see a volume knob and I want you to see that knob turning it down because Family in the head, because we're going to turn it down. 
Because what I want to do is I'm going to turn it down, turn their volume down. Maybe also if you're a very visual person, you can put them in like a cube, right? It is a soundproof cube and you just put it over family in the head. And what you're going to do is you take a deep breath. Breathing is so important and so powerful. And then you're going to say, listen to what he or she or they are saying and just listen. Now, that doesn't mean it's going to be easy. It's not magic. There's nothing magical about this. It's not like suddenly, boom, right? Now I'm going to be able to focus and I'm not going to have this unstable love pattern anymore or anything like that. Well, that may not, that may not be true because it's going to keep pushing, right? It doesn't want to be in that cube. Right? It doesn't want that volume turned down. It's going to fight for itself. You need to fight for yourself too. And that's an intrinsic motivator. That's an intrinsic driver. Your partner, your lovers, your friends, your parents, whoever, whoever your good, your favorite person, whoever those people are, they are not going to be able to contain or give you enough for them to resolve your unstable love pattern. So what we need to do is building that internal, that internal validation, putting that soundproof cube on them, rooting when we feel that emotional tornado spinning us around, spinning us around, spinning us around. And then what I, what I also, I want you to do is recognize that you have to find out what you are able to do, what you're interested in doing and stop worrying so much about what is normal, about what is okay, about what other people think. Again, that goes to that external validation. That's not what it's about, building an internal sense of validation. If you are doing something and it is not deleterious to yourself and your future, and it is healthy and it is good for you, I want to encourage you to keep doing it. If it is maladaptive and if it is harmful to you or someone else, or it detracts you from your goals or takes away from your health and your satisfaction in who you are, I want you to stop doing it. Easy to say, hard to do, right? But if you start with those good visualization skills, you start by recognizing that emotional tornado. You start by realizing that building that sense of internal validation can help you do things differently. You will eventually do things differently. Easy to say, hard to do, takes more than a minute. But revisit the video. I'm here for you to help you to build that internal validation, that internal sense of self. And we're going to turn down that family in the head, that chorus, because we're going to do it differently. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.